today I decided to test out this foundation. This is the foundation. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD um, Longwear Matte Foundation. I ordered this last week, no, two weeks ago, and I finally decided to try it out. Yeah. Hopefully, it's my um, skin complexion. I actually tried it out last night, but I don't know. I wanted to see, like, since it's daytime, how it will look. Because it, I don't know, something about it just feels weird to me. And um, I tried it on its own, but like around here was dark, it was still dark. So let's see how it is, but before I do that, oh, it's in the color Creamy Cocoa. And I have yellow, kind of goldish undertones. That's why I bought the Creamy Cocoa. And that was the only one I felt like would fit my complexion. So I'm using this um, silicone primer. Gonna let that sit on my face for a while. I'm going to color correct because I think I didn't color correct. Maybe that's why. Because I have real hyperpigmentation around this area and my forehead. So, yeah. Uh, correct I'm gonna be using is this orange corrector by um, Revo Makeup Revolution. It's a cushion corrector. So. And I already did my skincare routine this morning. So my base is really, um, I won't say flawless, but it's smooth. It's very smooth. Uh, lipstick, lipstick. The lip gloss that I'm using is this lip gloss by Makeup Academy. It's really good. Okay, so now for foundation. Put on my face. I'm not putting on putting on that for the first layer. One thing I could say though about this foundation is the finish. I really like the finish. It's really matte and soft and smooth. Like it's a very skin-like finish. So yeah. I think I need to get like a, a yellow corrector. This is not really cutting it for me. This is not my color. I don't think this is my color. I think it's the foundation as well. Um, the corrector too. It made it a little more orange than it should be. But we could fix that. Don't worry about that. We will fix it. And if you see like any mist spots I didn't blend. I don't have my glasses on. I don't wear eye contacts to see. Whatever. So, I don't know how it picks up on camera, but in person, it's really, I don't know, it's just something about it. It's not my complexion, although the under, I don't know, I, I still do, I feel like it also oxidizes, so, hmm, we'll see about that to do now i'm going to do my eyeshadow and then i'll come back and do the rest of my face this is how i know that this foundation is not my color because my eyebrow bone is yellow and this is more like orange red and i do my makeup however i see fit it just depends on whatever I feel like doing and I'm not a beauty guru just do what I like to see on me and that's that I'm gonna set my face with this setting powder this is the loose setting powder by makeup Academy and it's in the color topaz reveal to get some brushes 
Ey. You can still see my my dark spots, my manchas. Probably should have put another layer on. Then this palette by obviously Makeup Revolution. This is the palette, and obviously I'm gonna start with the dark color because I'm going for a dark look today. I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Child. This purple has no right to have all this follow if it's not that pigmented. It looks so pigmented in the palette, but when applied, it's not. I don't like that. This is the, you already know, the only eyeliner I have <laughs> that I use. And this, I'm not putting no lashes on, because... the brow define micro precision eyebrow pencil mm -hmm. we need to add some more foundation up here it's not cutting it at all we need to add some more foundation because i don't know what the hell that is but it's not it I don't usually do my makeup like this. I got these cotton pads from Amazon. And they take up your makeup really good. So my lips are moisturized. I'm not putting no eyelashes on. Just don't feel like doing all of that right now. Yeah. Just gonna go with my natural lashes. Going back to my roots, because I never used to wear lashes when my makeup looks. If you watch my old videos, there's some setting spray on. Let my base marinate. Now I'm going to um, do my lips. Bro. You ever have those days where you're doing your makeup? But it's just not coming out right. I think today is one of those days. I'm gonna take my what is it called? It's the sheer brilliant in the color sheer T sheer T G I F. It's like this. It's by Makeup Revolution. Put this on my lips. Yes, yeah, yo, it's you. Yeah, and it smells so good. And if you're looking for like an alternative to the 
butter lip gloss by NYX. I think this is the closest thing that I know for it. Mm, it's so good. Like, do you see that? Boost highlighter by Revolution, Makeup Revolution, is in the color Rose Quartz. So I'm just gonna open you, and it comes with like this little sponge. So I guess it's for like the body or whatever. Brush and just put it on my brow bone, like loosely. You see, it just I love that actually. My nose. Just tip like that. Gonna take my fingers and put on my cheeks like that. Just rub it on to make it. I like that. Like it's a sheer kind of highlight. And we're just gonna dab off the excess. Basically. Boom. See how beautifully that applies? Like, really? Oh, I love that. I love how it looks in the light. Mm hmm. I'm gonna blend that in with my finger. Add this um, highlighter by Makeup Academy. I'm gonna add this the the top, top color and mix it with the rose gold and just lightly brush it on top of that. I don't want to let it take away from the loose powder. Then I'm gonna take my brush and just dab it like so so it doesn't look like I painted it on I want it to like come from the skin so. I'm actually really loving this foundation I really am I'm gonna take the same loose setting powder and apply that right here like this just a bit and with the others as well the ones that I mix together and just gently apply it in the middle of my forehead like so that's it that's the look um I think I'm really done now I really like it I like how everything came together this foundation um, let me get let me give you guys my honest opinion. I, I, love, I love I like it. I like it. I like it. I love my lip. And I love the finish of the foundation. Honestly, this foundation, I think you have to like build it so like you could really get your color a bit. Probably it's probably because I didn't shake it. But I really like how it came together. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I probably have to test it out again to see if it's really like my color. Because I really need to find a foundation that is just seamless, you know. So yeah, this foundation right here, it's a good foundation. It's not the best because my color, my true complexion when I, when I was still living in St. Martin, it was the L'Oreal True Match in the color C9. Um, I think at that time it was a cool tone. But now that I came here, um, like a year ago, my complexion has lightened a lot. So, um, yeah. I'm like a now golden yellow undertone. And I, you could find your undertones, but that doesn't mean like the foundation itself is going to be your complexion. That's what I've learned with a lot of foundations because I have this foundation, the Sleek um, Life Proof Foundation. It's my undertone, but it's not my complexion, you know? So, 
and it's really annoying to look for foundations i ordered this one on beauty bay with um a lot of other um makeup stuff these are actually because i got like i think four um lip glosses like this from the beauty bay website i honestly think that the foundation has potential if you find your, your true color with it i think it, sh it could work for you but um if it doesn't you have to make it work like i don't know if i made it work i feel like i did i'm i'm proud of the look that i put together i'm proud of it i'm proud of it so where my glasses at i need to see oh I'm not mad at it. Um, here, though. Good thing I put my, my, my glasses on. Ciao. I need to shave my mustache. And you could kind of see some. I don't know. I just feel like the lights are just enhancing my. Like, all the little pores and whatnot. I feel like this foundation by the end of the day. I'll start to crack and they'll start to crease and all those things that foundation some foundations do I, th I think that it would do that um I'll leave it on for the rest of the day probably like a few hours and I'll come back and see how it holds up you know should I put my hair like this or like this I'll come back and check in with you guys and see how it um, holds up. This, my skin is oily. I have oily skin. I have very oily skin. So I already know that I'm, I'm about to like, you know, be a grease ball. Um, which is fine because that's how my skin is. I can't prevent myself from getting greasy. So yeah, we'll just see how it holds up. Like if the foundation creases a lot. And like I get cracks, my spine, my smile line just starts to smile back at me and whatnot. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a few hours to give you my honest final final thoughts. It's been I started recording that I finished my makeup around 12 p.m. It's about I think 5 5 p.m. or something like that. So it's been a good five to six hours. Um, I am really really. Like my eyes are tired. I'm not tired, but my eyes are really hurting me. So I didn't really give it like a full eight hours. So I just decided to do it, give it six, because I know when I'm done doing my homework, I'm not going to want to come back on the camera in front of these lights. So um, yeah, this is the makeup. I didn't touch anything. I didn't touch up. The only thing I touched up was the corners of my eyes, because they were um, leaking, and I just touched that up real quick. I just did it a while ago. Well, a few seconds ago before I came on camera. So, yeah, this is the makeup. It's not, well, I'm not oily yet. Not oily yet, but I feel like it would hold up pretty, pretty good. Um, You know, I don't think it would be any worse than this, honestly. I don't think it would be worse. I think the only thing that would probably get messed up is hair my lip gloss or lipstick and probably like the corners of my mouth but um other than that i don't think anything else would have been out of place because my eyeshadow lasts all day um so does my eyelashes when i put mascara and lashes um i really like the foundation honestly if it holds up like this with everything i did by setting setting my face and all that it's a really good foundation um it's not the best foundation but it's a really good foundation they should i know a lot of people say this but they really should get the formula that they put in the concealers and put it in the foundation i think that would be perfect that would be like the best selling foundation best selling foundation i don't know if they did that but that would be like the best selling after foundation. five to six hours how do you think the foundation held up um let me know is it is it trash or can it pass let your girl know in the comments wait why are we
always have hair in my mouth. Like, <laughs> that sounds gross, but it's not. But I'll see you guys in the